What's your relationship like with God? Well, wh- who, what is God? See, lots of people say the no, universe. No, no, don't, no, don't tell me what other people say. What, what do, do I say? think God is? Yeah. Well, personally, I don't believe it. I believe in self-agency, so I make things happen in my life. So I don't believe there's a higher power. So who created there. the reality that gives you the ability to conceptualize this thought? One, two, plan for the future. Three, live in this reality. Four, make your heart pump beat. Four, give you consciousness. Five, give you a father that loves you. Six, gives you emotions towards your father. Seven, gives father emotions towards you. Eight, you guys share DNA. Nine, you guys probably share a bond that you can't really explain through science. How do you explain those things? I mean, I would say that's a lot of positive things, but how would you explain all the negatives like cancer, kids dying of terrible diseases? There's lots of bad things in the world as well. So if God made all those positive things, then he must have made the negative things. So why would he have done that? It's merely an expression of the human condition because the human condition is manifested in reality. So you see wars, you see turmoil, you see all these things happening. It's not pointing at God. It's pointing at our deficiency and our need for God. But God made us. So why would he make us with deficiencies? Why would he allow us to be on a yacht here and kids dying in Africa? That doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense. And that's the beauty about reality is that it doesn't have to make sense. It just has to be. And you have to surrender to the fact that you may not understand everything. And if an entity that is so powerful is supposed to be conceptualized and completely understood within the matter that resides inside of our head, then it wouldn't be really worth worshiping, would it? Why does something have to create our reality? Because obviously, if we're saying God created our reality, reality, who created God? You know, it it keeps going and going and going. There needs to be an end point. Well, no, that's under the assumption that God abides within natural law. So if God abides outside of time, space, and matter, in the beginning time, God created heaven, space and the earth matter so in order to create time space and matter you need to be outside of time space and matter he created time space and matter you're just bound to it that's why you don't comprehend